the murderer. Murderer? I didn't do it. Stop her before she kills Leave again. Leave me alone. <laughs> Want to tell me what that was all about? No. I'll be fine. Because this! You can make this all go away! My name is Lyra, and you're... You! You've helped so many people. You're amazing and wonderful and powerful and... And you're here! Thank you. That's nice of you. You deserve all the praise and more. They called you a murderer. They don't seem the type, but as the Castis, I have to be sure. They're sure I'm responsible for what happened to that poor family. They said it's like the other murders, but I couldn't live with myself, I swear. Please, please clear my name. Where were you when the family was murdered? If it happened last night like they said, I was here trying to sleep. Although, lately it's been restless, filled with strange dreams. It's always the same one, over and over. Were you alone? Well, yes. I've been so tired lately, I decided to stay in. You said something about other murders. This was the... third time. I just don't understand why they'd blame me. I, I don't have the stomach to do that. I'll find out what really happened. Just point me in the direction of the attack. Just down the road. Uh, not too far from here. If I were you, I'd hide until I return. Oh, good idea. Thank you. You truly are a great de Castis. Ah, the great Ligastis. What did I do to deserve a visit? I'm looking into the attack that happened nearby last night. Ah, of course. I thought that was meant to be handled already. You mean the mob harassing that woman? Uh, I've said enough. I understand your hesitation, but I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure whoever or whatever did this is punished. You've already met the guilty one. Lyra? You agree with the mob? Of course I do. I'm the one who told them it was her. I saw her last night, bloody and in a frenzy. It was dark. How do you know it was her? I know what I saw. Ah. Is this about what happened last night? How do you know? It's all everyone's talking about. And if the Tijastis is here, you must be looking into it. If you saw or heard anything, I need to know. I saw it from the distance. Heard it, too. Its howl will never leave my mind. You saw a wolf? Beast is more like it. If you see it, run! I'll be careful. These footprints track the blood out of the house. Whoever murdered them left this way. These aren't stab wounds. They're claw marks. This bloodied cloth doesn't match the mother or daughter's robes. It must have come off the murderer. I should return to Lyra and let her know what I found. Did you find out what happened? The evidence I found was conflicting. 
Tell me. Two people saw what happened. One woman heard a wolf howling. But a man said he saw you, covered in blood and leaving the family's house. He's lying! Or mistaken. It was dark, so it could have been anyone. There's more. The killing blows weren't made by a weapon. Then by what? It almost looked like claw marks. And then there was this piece of cloth. It didn't match the clothes of anyone there. That's... that's mine! How did it get there? Someone wants me to look like I was responsible. Tell me the truth, Dicastis. Whether it was a wolf or something else, it's clear it wasn't you. Of course it wasn't, but why would someone make it seem like I'm the murderer? We'll figure that out together. After I kill the beast. You're going to kill it? What other choice is there? Do you want another mob after you? No, of course not. I've just always hated the killing of animals. If I don't kill it now, it will kill someone later. I have a friend who can keep me safe while you end this. I need to find the beast and kill it before it grows bloodthirsty again. was me! What am I? I've seen this before. A minotaur, a cyclops, a horon. All were humans possessed by powerful issue devices. The only way I could stop them was by killing them. But you're able to change back. Somehow you're different. I... don't remember coming here. Or why? had to guess. That side of you knew it was caught. Maybe it thought coming out here was the only choice it had. That side of me. I've had dreams lately of being in a bright room, tied down, pain throughout my body. But now, I think that all really happened. I did kill them then. I don't remember it, but it was me, wasn't it? If you knew you would harm people again, and you could never control yourself, never stop, would you? Would I what? Jump? Of course I wouldn't. There are always answers. How could that be? It feels so... permanent. It's only one part of you. It's not all of you. I know what it's like to be part human and part something else. Trust me, you can live with his burden. I'm not as strong as you are! Look at yourself. Yes, you are. You're stronger than you think. Plus, I've been thrown off a cliff before. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Uh, but you're still here. I am. And you are too. 
You're right. Now that I know what's inside of me, I can do something about it. And I know who can help. Thank you. Technology can and will change whoever isn't strong enough to command it. That explains your own aggression, Layla. I'm still me. I'm not as weak as you think I am. Ah, the Castis. I heard you can help me with the solar floral regeneration project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no. You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? I don't know anyone named Minerva. Her students are so small-minded about my photosynthesis accelerator. If you want to be a scholar, why follow such a rudimentary doctrine? Look, do you need something from me? Oh, apologies, Dicastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move your lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. 
A good message, I hope. It looks like all the light beams need to hit that central structure. Must be the device now Cleese mentioned. Reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. down.
get the flowers growing in no time. Hmm. Won't budge. Tell no case it's done. <sighs> that doesn't seem good. What happened? Moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then the beams are aligned. Yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Oh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Oh no! Something's wrong with the photons. Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. N never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh... Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of Imperial... <sighs> It's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Cleese was right. There is no rock here. <gasps> hey! Stop right there! Get back here! Oh, Malaka! Must be in here somewhere. 
Maybe if I move some things around. Castis doing running around here. I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neoclis's rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neoclis has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neocles' device, and we'll fix the flowers. Neoclesis first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers. When he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. Neocles needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. The project Neocles is working on is important for the future of Atlantis. Hand over the rock. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you. This will propel Atlantis' sustainability forward by centuries. All those cynics like Melita will see the progress eventually. Just be careful. It sounds like your theory could still use some work. This is the right course of action for all of Atlantis, Dicastis. Trust me. Please, do me the honor of returning the stone to the device. Gardens will be healed in no time. seem to be thriving with wildlife. <laughs> 